Hi everyone. In this video, let's have a look at the plugin Big Blue Button. I'm going to log in as an admin. And before I log in, I need to enable the plugin Big Blue Button in my accounts panel. And once I've enabled, I can find it under Collaboration as Collaborate. Here, I will be able to create online meetings, schedule any online meetings using this Big Blue Button. Before which, I need to go to bigbluebutton.org and under this URL, you can download the latest version of Big Blue Button into your server. So as you can see the information here, you can get this Big Blue Button into Fedina by installing it into your server. And once you have installed it in your server, you can go to server and create a new server here and add the information about your server. Let's say the name, URL and salt ID, you need to provide it and save it. And once that's done, you can go back to online payment and schedule a new one by going for new. Provide a name for the online meeting and select one of the servers as well. And I can select the department or the employees. Let's say I'm selecting a department, I can select the members from this department. And I can select class. Let's say I'm selecting a class and the uh, students from this class can take part in these meetings. I will be scheduling it by selecting the date and a time. And I can schedule meetings like these using the blue button and conduct meetings with various teachers and students. The next plugin that we're going to see is AppFrame and Watch Your Provider. You need to enable these plugins in your accounts panel and once you have done that, you can go to administration, you can go to settings, you can find something called manage clients here. Under manage clients, you're going to create a new one whenever you want to manage a client or add a client information that could be used for manage applications. So I have created various application information. So I have created one which is an example. Let's say I have created for Wikipedia where I have given the client name to be Wiki and I have given the redirect URL which is a Wikipedia URL. And I said that this is going to be a verified user. So Farina can access this as a verified one. The same way I have given various other applications like WordPress, Usity, and other applications like RFID as well. So I've created this client information here so that we can create application or framework for the, my applications under apps. Under apps, as you can see, I have created a few applications and I'm gonna create more by going for manage applications. And using manage applications, I can create a framework for my applications that I've given as a client IDs. I can go for new, I can give the name for these application. Let's say I'm given a name for WordPress. Just a title for the application and the URL. I'm selecting it. And it's asking if it has to open inside application or as a new tab. If I'm selecting inside app, it's going to open inside Fedina. And if I'm selecting new tab, it will open as a new tab. Now I've chosen inside the application. And the next thing is client name. I'm going to choose one of the client names. This blog is the client name that matches the WordPress URL. So I'm selecting it. I'm going to select who are the different users who can access them and submit it. Now I've created the application. I'm going to create one more, which is going to be Wikipedia. So I'm going to give the name, I'm going to give the URL. And once I've given the URL, I'm going to once again say open inside application or into a new tab. Let's enter this as inside application and select the client name to be this and the users and submit. Now we can view the application by going for applications and you can see this is the application that I've given for WordPress and selecting it, it takes me to the page and as you can see, this WordPress does not get created. This application is not viewable inside Fedina because these applications are dynamic applications and they require 
credentials and these application does not allow applications other applications like Fedina to open inside their application. So you, if we can choose open as a new tab and submit it, let's go back to the application. As you can select this, you can see it opens as a new tab and you will be able to log in using your credentials and other information. The same way if you're going for application like Wikipedia, as you can see, it loads inside Fedina and you can view the whole web page inside Fedina. As you can select one among the options and the link goes on inside Fedina. These are static application and these allows you to view it inside our application. This is all about the module app frame. Thanks for listening.